So let's see what's in the kit. One head, one high contrast reflector, softbox, an inner scrim, outer scrim, eight rods and six lamps. So first of all I'm going to put the softbox together and for that I'm going to need the softbox and the head and the rods. So if we take our softbox material and open that out, place it over the head, like so. Then we take our rod, place it into one of the holes in the side, nice and simple, and then take that and put that into the pocket, like so. Take our next rod on 180 degrees to our first rod, just move the material out of the way, push that into the body, and then a little bit of a bend on the The rod, open out the material, then another rod into the body and into the pocket, and our fourth rod, 180 degrees again, hold on to the body, put part of the hand, push the material down and push the, the rod into it. Lift up the rod slight spring and just drop it into the top pocket. That's given us a square but to make an octobox we need uh, eight rods so again push the material down just push the rod into there lift up the rod and drop it into the top pocket. Take our next rod 180 degrees again hold down the body push the material down push the rod in just a slight bend on the rod and put it into place. And our sixth rod. Push that into the body. Like so. Slight bend of the rod into the top pocket. So let's put our last rod into place. Hold down the body, push the material down, push the rod into the, the hole. And this is always going to be the hardest one to do. So hold on to the material, lift up the rod and just drop it into place. Nice and simple, job done. So that's how it should look. Now we need to put the lamps in. Now it doesn't matter which order you put these in into the holders because uh, you'll complete it anyway. But they basically just simply screw in and you just do them up hand tight. There's no need to do them any more than hand tight. So that's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and the last one, again, just hand tight. So now we need to put in our internal scrim and that literally goes into the little bits of elastic that are up here. Push that through the, the hole and just give it a slight tug and it will come through. And we can open out and put our next one in into the second hole and continue this all the way around until we've got this in place. Like so. Just little eyelets, place them through the elastic, just give it a slight tug and it will go into place. And now for the outer scrim. So if we take that and just unfold it, and these are quite simple to put on, they just fold over the edges. You will find as you put them on, they will come off. Uh, so you just pull them into back into place. So as we drop those around, they just literally go over the edge of the rods and just pull it in, and that's it. Nice and simple, all done. 
So let's see how easy it is to put the high contrast reflector together. First of all, we need to undo these screws which are on the outside of the body. One, two, three, four. So just undo these slightly, not too far. And then on the reflector, we've got these four slots. So if we offer the reflector up to the holes and just give it a slight twist, you can see how it locks it into place. Tighten the thumb screws up all the way around. So now we need to uh, put one of the lamps into place. Uh, we simply place that into the bulb holder and just screw it into place hand tight. That's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and finally the last one again just hand tight and that's it nice and simple easily done and now we need to put the stand into the bottom of here and then we're ready to use our light with a high contrast reflector so let's put the stand together and all we have to do here is open the bottom of the legs out making sure this knob is undone and we can push this down until this part of the stand is at 90 degrees here and that makes it the most stable just lock it off and then all we have to do then is to put the light onto the top of the light stand up here so now if we take the head and put it onto the light stand just needs to come down onto this brass collar down here and then we just tighten it up on here with a thumb screw not too tight and then this knob on the back allows us to tilt the head backwards or forwards whichever we want and a nice little trick that I often use is to undo this and we can leave it undone which allows us then to rotate the head if we want to lock it off we can and then it doesn't move so now I just need to power it up so I put the plug into the back of here like so and then if I press one of the switches we can see it instantly comes up and our lights start to turn on just like that